All right, Pisces, we are going to see what the energy is coming towards you. What is going to be the energy? Actually, let's see what the energy that you're in right now is. I have tried to cover my cards, so hopefully I can quit being flagged for nudity. We shall see. What's going to be the energy that you are dealing with right this moment? Okay, maybe a lack of balance, maybe even a sense of lack of healing. There could be something that you're waiting to be made fair or just. Some of you could be feeling like you're not seeing something turn out the way you wanted it to. Yeah. There's very scattered energy here, and they're telling you to ground yourself. You could be... Waiting for some sort of communication or waiting to find something out. It's like you're expecting something, you're wanting something, you're waiting for something. So for some of you, it, it's an energy of well, I'm waiting for someone to reach out to me. And it could be making you a little unbalanced. Maybe it's waiting for a break in your career. There, there's something here you're waiting for, and it's making you really unbalanced. And they're telling you that it's coming, but there could be a little bit of a scattered energy based off of curiosity coming from you right now. So needing to get your ducks in a row. So let's say one minute you're chasing a career, and that's what you're focused on, but then maybe you're, you're easy to talk yourself out of giving it your all. Maybe there is something here where you do get distracted. You have a little bit of squirrel energy where someone's like, well, maybe we should do this. And you're like, oh, squirrel, let's do that. Needing to make sure that you're not letting scattered energy make you unbalanced at this time. So a lot of you could be really having a hard time practicing what you preach or staying determined in something when, when the going gets tough. So let's say that this is a relationship. Maybe there's lack of balance here and there's a little bit of scattered energy of, well, I can do this, well, I can do that, but I can do this or I can do that. Needing to get in a state of calm so you can make a, a choice or a decision, choose a path from a place of groundedness. Some of you are needing to embrace what you have and quit being in a place of, but I want more, but I want more. Let me build more. A lot of you are going to be getting some sense of affection coming in. Some of you, there could be someone that is a friend that's around you. You could have put this person in the friend zone. You could have like a little bit of a guard up. Somebody here external to you is wanting you to change your mind. For some of you, you have put someone in the friend zone or there is someone that you have some sort of bond with, but it isn't the bond that they want. And this person's hoping that time apart <clears throat> or, or something, it's like, I hope you will change your mind. I hope... You may be going out there and seeing that nobody else is for you will make me will make you see how amazing I am. But there's an acknowledgement here. Secret lover, hidden interest, someone external to you is wanting you to change your mind about them. They're wanting you to give them a real shot. Some of you, this is a friend or an acquaintance. Exploring your feelings. There is some sort of chemistry here. Hold on a second. What is this? What is this exactly? This person could be wanting to give you something. Okay, judgment. There could be a final decision here that needs to be made, whether or not you actually want to invest. So for some of you, there's an energy here of you being very scattered and you're feeling really unbalanced. And it's because there could need to be more healing taken place. There also could be someone external to you that is interested in you in love. Now, here's the thing. You might be in a relationship, but you know that there is someone attached to you energetically that wants more. And it's like this person's patiently waiting for you to give into this. They're hoping that something will change. 
the connection, the dynamic, your feelings. This could be someone you put in the friend zone, whatever. There's something here about distance and then wanting you to explore this with them. This person could really be keeping track of you and not in a creepy way, but in a way of I know you enough to know that this is what you're probably going to say. This is how you're probably going to react. This is how you're going to show up. This is someone who knows you. <clears throat> but you're needing to make a final decision on whether or not. I feel like you want to hold on to this person. The lovers. Some of you, there's something here about whether or not you want to invest with this person. If you're going to choose them. Needing to listen to your intuition. So, yeah. Somebody's about to ask you out. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> Give me something on this because I find it interesting that we went from an unbalanced energy. A lot of you are seeing bunnies right now and that is showing a sign of growth that's coming in. Something, I'm seeing a pregnant person. So something's growing like below the surface. And it's about time for it to take form. Yes, honest conversation. Somebody's been trying to respect your boundaries, but someone here is wanting some sort of quality time with you. That's what I'm saying. Some of you have someone attached to you that's wanting quality time. There's a lot that's unknown, but you're needing to make a choice or a decision on whether or not you should give in to this person. So should they? Page of Cups. So they're telling you that you can show interest, <clears throat> explore, remain hopeful about where this can go because there is a possibility that this could be like a dream come true. So why are you so unbalanced at the moment then? Okay, there could be some sort of cycle here being completed. This could have to do with your money, your finances, your legacy. This could have something to do Okay, so the King of Pentacles is someone who's protective, someone who's nurturing. So this could be you completing a cycle on something that you once were really protective over or something you wanted to nurture. So some of you you're in the storm before the calm is what I'm getting. And you're getting to a point of finding balance but also being able to Calm yourself when you find yourself getting out of control. What do I mean by that? That could be like a spiraling energy. That could be overthinking. That could be sabotaging because you feel so unbalanced that your natural instinct is to sabotage more. It really depends upon who you are as an individual. But there's something here about exploring something more because someone's going to have an honest conversation with you. Someone definitely put a dynamic on pause and there's something here about being friends first someone being put in the friend zone and it growing into something more someone wanting to give you something in a time where you're embracing what you have being willing to open up to something more and that's what's happening here is you're closing doors you're closing paths that maybe you've once entertained you're getting a lot more true and firm about what you want and where you're going. But it has something to do with this person. This person's attached. So give me more on the unbalancing energy for you. Yeah, teamwork. A lot of you could be needing to close a cycle on someone who wants teamwork, but isn't necessarily the healthiest. Um, oh, crap. Watch me get flagged for that. Um, I do feel like I'm hearing once there was a way. So maybe this person's a little unsure how to come back in your presence, how to come back in your energy. Give me something for this honest conversation. What is the conversation that they're wanting to have with you? The star. Oh, there's nudity everywhere. Listening to your intuition about how this person wants to give to you equally. They could have been really stuck. They could have also been changing their perspective. 
So you guys are showing up as a match. And it is telling me that this could be amazing teamwork. But the question is, are you going to accept this? I feel like this reading is a little complicated, if I'm going to be honest. I feel like for some of you, this person could have been attached to someone or something else that they had to grow through before this come back together. Give me, I need to switch decks because that deck is, is going to get me in trouble. See, and there's a juggling energy. What have they changed their perspective about? They're wanting to have a conversation about wanting to give to you. About some sort of cycle here that wasn't completed. And them not voicing that. Five of Swords. Wanting to give you truth about something. A message of truth. A message of bad news, possibly. Now, here's the thing. Bad news doesn't really have to be bad news to you. It could be about something falling apart in their life that they didn't tell you about. So, someone here is wanting to have a conversation with you. And it has something to do with a cycle here not being completed. Them not being willing to let something go or learn a lesson. So they went through it again. And maybe there's an energy here where they didn't feel like they should apologize for not telling you. It was in due time that they would take the action that they needed. So why am I picking up on that? Give me more. Why am I picking up on the, yeah, something here about divine timing. <clears throat> The emperor is someone who does what they need to do, but it could have broke their heart. That's what I was about to say. The emperor is someone who does what they need to do, but it isn't because it's easy. That's the energy I'm getting here. This is someone who is wanting to have an honest conversation with you through due time. This is someone where you are either in their friend zone or they're in your friend zone. And it has something to do with this person not feeling the need to express or let you know what's go what was going on. And they weren't willing to either leave something behind or complete some sort of cycle. I feel like things have transpired in due time like they're supposed to. But I also feel like this emperor, whoever this is, they were very stubborn. They were very determined. But they, are all, they were also very sad and disappointed in what transpired. So maybe there's an energy here where they're wanting to come in and be like very protective. Yeah, they've been waiting, waiting, putting the choice off to come towards you to be a team player, wanting communication about possibly some sort of ending, something that's transpired, having a lot of anxiety about it. Why are they so anxious to talk to you about this? There could be a lot of regret, sadness, disappointment. This person could have a lot of regrets. There could be a lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Wanting movement forward. For some of you, this was someone who wasn't single. And now they want to come in and tell you that they're single. But they could be a little disappointed in the fact that they didn't actually um, bring honesty to the table. Again, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of you're missing pieces of the puzzle. And one of the pieces of the puzzle you're missing is that this person wants long-term investment. They want to give to you. They are scared that you might not take it. But there is a little bit of like discontent with how they've handled things, whatever this is. And again, this is either someone you friend zoned or vice versa. Now, here's the thing. You might be regretting how you friend zone someone. And there is going to be an honest conversation that's going to transpire. And there will be some sense of affection given. After a time of you embracing what you have. So what does this have to do with Pisces? Yeah, something here about breadcrumbing. So you feel like this person or whatever this was, it was unbalanced and you felt breadcrumbed. And for some of you, you've healed from it. Or maybe that's an energy that you're feeling now. Yeah, you, you could be feeling breadcrumbed when it comes to collaborations. Feeling like anyone that you entertain. Now, this could be a job. This could be friends. There's something here about anything that you entertain. You feel like it just, it just doesn't meet your expectations or what you need. There is someone here... Mm. You've got a 
lot of people in this reading. And I feel like one person could be attached to you wanting to speak some sort of good communication to you. It could be something you've hoped for. Whoever this is could have really needed to reevaluate their values, their morals, and I'm going to say character. This person is very strong, but for some of you, this person could have a tendency to approach you in a way that you don't like. So this could be someone that you're friends with that you put in the friend zone or again, vice versa, where there's something about them that you're just not crazy about. And it's something here about lack of communication. What? I don't know if I'm going to post this one. Uh, this one's very confusing. What is the purpose of this story? I know there's going to be a conversation coming, but what, what's the purpose of us knowing this? Six of Wands. There could be some sense of success or victory that's going to come from this. There could even be maybe recognition with the devil of some sort of toxicity that could have took place in this dynamic. There could be an energy here where they're telling you to... Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody here could be wanting success and victory, but they could be recognizing the way that they have approached you in the past. And again, if this is someone you put in the friend zone or vice versa, there could be an energy here of, I put you in the friend zone because I didn't feel like you were approaching me in a way that was suitable. And they could be really regretting that. And they're recognizing that it had everything to do with them not wanting to complete a cycle or to be different. And they want to have an honest conversation about that now. This person could still be holding back while you're searching for some sense of happiness, emotional fulfillment. And it's like you guys have shifted energies. You're now in a place where you're unapologetically going after everything that makes you happy. And now this person's regretting Maybe not being honest and upfront and really communicating with you that they care, but there could be some things in the way. Again, let's say this is someone who friends on you. This person could have literally looked at you and said, listen, I really care about you and I'm digging this, but A, B, C, or D. But instead of doing that, they didn't. They held their cards to their chest. They remained very stubborn. And because of that, in due time, they now live with regret. They now live with a sense of sadness and disappointment. I would even go as far to say that this person could be recognizing that the kind of individual they thought that they were is not actually the kind of individual that they are. And that's kind of a hard pill to swallow when you're walking around saying, I'm an emperor, I'm an emperor, I'm, a, I'm the shit. And then you kind of look in the mirror and go, okay, but wait a minute, why am I not acting like an emperor? And there is a little bit of a defensive energy when it comes to you. And there is some sense of sadness and disappointment. This person feels like you could maybe be blocking them from being able to come near you. And they're having a lot of regret because you have a wall up towards them now. You have a wall up. And they want to have an honest conversation. Again, something here about boundaries. Something here about boundaries. Feeling like you're their true love. Yeah, but someone here has options. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Falling in love. This could be someone who's going to want to relocate for you. This could be someone who has a tendency to fall in love with someone and then sabotage it. Or when they get too close to someone, they then sabotage it. That could be a conversation that's going to transpire if this person is aware. Not everyone is mentally aware with how they show up and how they act. But for some of you, this person could have either been journaling, going to therapy, or trying to understand why they wanted to keep their options open when they felt like they were falling for someone. Again, something here about a friend zone. Maybe someone put someone in the friend zone when they were actually starting to care for them deeply. I'm getting a sense of protection, but wanting to open up and give some sort of gift now. Holy shit. It says, it is safe for you to love and then love yourself first. So again, after a season of you showing some sense of self-respect, it's made you more romantically attractive. I feel like you've gotten to a point where you're a lot more optimistic and you're understanding why things are happening the way that they are. Sometimes you might not agree with it, but you're at a place where you're like, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to understand. I'm going to go with the flow. It just kind of is what it is. There is a carefree energy coming from you. 
with whatever this this is, okay? But they are saying that when this person comes back, that it could be safe for you to open up to this person if that's what you feel you need to do. Again, there will be a conversation here that's going to transpire. And I feel like this person's been putting it off. Again, maybe even trying to, with the journaling card, understand what they're feeling. This could be someone who's been trying to dig for an understanding. I would even go as far for some of you that this person could be listening to tarot. You know, sometimes it's hard to put what you're feeling into words until you hear it come out of someone else's mouth. And I've done that before with podcasts, with my own videos, with music, with movies. Sometimes it just takes that one sentence, that one thing to be said for you to have an epiphany. And I feel like there has been a waiting energy here for someone to voice something, for them to maybe understand, understand what they're feeling, understand what they're thinking. You are lovable. You deserve love. For Again, for a lot of you, this could be the one that you are going to end up with. Again, for some of you, this is someone where it's been complicated, but you guys are meant to... Holy shit. <sighs> That's what I'm about to say, but I think you guys are meant to be together. I mean, honestly... Give me something for this uh, Emperor's Three of Swords. Feeling very attracted. Maybe there was something here where they needed to, again, release something that they didn't want to release. But realizing the pain from you hurt worse. Woo! What did I just say? What did I just say? Feeling really burdened by your memory. Feeling really burdened by the time, the space, the distance, the disappointment. Feeling really wounded. Feeling really guarded. Having a lot of love and emotion. This person could be throwing their self into work. Trying not to think about it. Again, I do get an energy for some of you that this person could have approached you in the incorrect way in the past. And I feel like they're regretting that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any more because I don't want to ruin it. I feel like this was amazing. Again, this is going to be some sense of reconciliation. Somebody put somebody in the friend zone and something's going to transpire from that, y'all. I do not know. You're going to know if this is your reading, but I got to stop because I feel so confused. Okay, have a blessed day, guys.